Prescott here, bravely reporting from the very brink of danger as Hurricane OB hurls its fury toward Griffin Rock. With time running out, our own Doc Green is racing to finish his ultimate weather shield, a huge dome over the entire island. Will he make it? Whatever happens, your fearless reporter will remain at his power. indoors until the dome is in place. Come on. Yeah, even you, Mr. Pettipaws. No one wants to pet a soggy cat. All streets are clear, Dad. Now to clear the skies. Like fast! Doc, how's it coming at your end? Almost ready, Chief. This is going to be so cool. Putting a dome over the whole island is radical science. That's one of the best things about science, Frankie. Using it to keep loved ones safe. Also for making microwave popcorn. We'd better hurry, Dad. The wind's really picking up. Just as soon as the replacement for this damaged stabilizer arrives, I sent Graham, Cody, and Boulder to the island of Misfit Tech to retrieve it. They should be back any minute. said the working stabilizer's connected to the tree debarker. I remember. The one that went crazy and tried to shred Doc's lab coat, with him still in it. It's still not very nice to call all this stuff misfit tech. Maybe just misunderstood. Either way, none of it works right. Better to beam it here than have it be a danger to Griffin Rock. <sighs> like this one. Who can forget the vigilant computer? <sighs> that was fun. I am vigil. And I will keep Griffin Rock 100% safe. Yeah, by turning everyone in town into prisoners. There's the debarker and the stabilizer, just like Doc said. Why did we have to come here to get it? Couldn't Doc just beam it to the lab? He tried. All that came back was the retrieval tag. It must have fallen off. Looks like all these tags have fallen off. We'll have to look into that later. We need to get back. Doc. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You stayed on a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Two others remain robust in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero. Are you hurt? Are you okay? Uh, I think so. All I can see is green. Epic save, Boulder. Thanks. Let's get the stabilizer plugged in before the storm brings down the rest of the roof. Stabilizer in place and... Up goes the dome. Noble, Doc. <laughs> Noble, indeed. 
And the atmosphere generator will keep supplying us with clean air at a balmy 70 degrees. <gasps> it's like living inside a big snow globe. But without the snow and the plastic elves. Doc has really outdone himself. As humans say, the town is cozy as an insect-infested carpet. Snug as a bug in a rug. Isn't that what I just said? That is something amazing. Is anything like it. Nothing but net. Hey, goaltending. More like rejected. <laughs> ah! Oops. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. The remote steering is a little off. Just be a little more careful next time, my little Aldrin. Why not let me adjust it for you? And the throttle. I need more speed. Uh, no she doesn't. And so the citizens of Griffin Rock need no longer fear the ravages of storm and sea with the Mayor Lusky Dome to protect us. Thank you. It is with deep humility that I accept full credit for its success. Now I'll turn things over to Doc Green, who will roll back the Lusky Dome until it's once again needed to protect our fair town. The Lusky Dome? <laughs> Isn't that what's under the mayor's toupee? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your uh, leadership in this project. And now... Ow! I am sorry, Dr. Green. I cannot allow you to do that. Vigil? But we disabled him and sent him to the island of Misfit Tech. Not quite disabled, Chief Burns. During my exile, I learned to transfer my programming into any device of my choosing. He took all the tags off to get us to come to the island. And when he saw us with the stabilizer, he jumped into it. He used us to bring him back. All part of my continuing mission to protect the residents of Griffin Rock. Duck, do something. After all, this cockamamie dome was all your idea. <laughs> No worries, folks. It's all under control. Eh, oh. Vigil, don't you remember what happened last time? Yes, Cody Burns. But I have corrected the flaw you found in my programming and am now able to assure a 100% safety rating. Vigil, retract this dome now. That would be counterproductive. The dome increases your level of safety to 82%. I will now endeavor to achieve full protection. The atmosphere generator! Vigil is rearranging the molecules in the air to synthesize some sort of... Uh, ...sleeping vapor. Is it harmful? No, but we'll all rather quickly... Uh, ...fall... <gasps> Dad! This is a clear violation of air quality guidelines. Quick, everyone, into the bots, now! The sawing sound emanating from Doc Green's airways would indicate they are simply asleep. Asleep is out of harm's way. Protecting the people of Griffin Rock is my priority. 
can't hold my breath any longer. Must have air. Since I feel no ill effects, I presume this sleep vapor does not affect Autobots. You may resume breathing. <sighs> Thank you. Good to know. What do we do? As long as you four stay inside our cabs, you should be okay. But we need to take over that console and open the dome. Heat wave? We're on it. Bot modes. The console is now protected. The dome must remain in place permanently. Boulder, can you smash through it without damaging the controls? I'll try. Vigil has fled the scene. The rest of us should go after him before he does any more damage. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Ready, Blades? Let's go. It's okay, Frankie. Just sit back. Let me do the piloting. Sure, no problem. Uh, release the throttle. Oh, <laughs> right. Sorry. But it's just like piloting my model rocket. You mean the one you crashed into the wall? It wasn't me. It was the remote. Let go of the steering. Okay. Power up and energize! Yeah, this creeps me out. Everyone in town is asleep. Everyone but the mayor. <laughs> Look. Ah. Ha! He sleep eats. Talk about sweet dreams. Boy, is Mr. Harrison gonna be dizzy when he wakes up. I detect no sign of our suspect. He can jump from one piece of tech to another. So... He could be in anything now. Cody's right! Vigil could be anywhere, or everywhere. Ah! That thing has a strange red glow! Blades, that's a traffic light. It'll have a strange green glow in a second. Oh. I think it's different than before. Vigil can't be everywhere. He just controls one device at a time. That's why he keeps jumping around. Ah! Skyhawk to Blue Ninja, target at 10 o'clock. Do you copy? I believe we are Blue Ninja. Um, we don't actually have code names, Frankie. And I don't even know where 10 o'clock is. That would be to the left. Acknowledged, Skyhawk. I don't see anything. Just a mom, a girl, and... and... Vigil! He's in the Robo-Baby! Let's cut him off at Lake Street. Hang on. <sighs> no go. The entire system overheated inside the cement. Then we need to find another way to shut down the dome. I'll check the schematic. It should be on Doc's computer. What's Doc's secret password? Oh, right. Doc. D-O... Oops. <sighs> Delete. Uh-oh. Uh, this could take a while. It's over, Vigil. Please exit the stroller with your pudgy little arms above your oversized head. I am sorry, but I must complete one more task before Griffin Rock can be deemed permanently safe. Why doesn't he just zap to wherever he's going? I don't think he can zap very far. Notice how he always gets really close before jumping tech? Vigil is headed east. Perhaps we can cut him off. Skyhawk? We copy, Blue Ninja. We're on it. 
Is that what I think it is? The dome has two sets of controls. Here, and the computer at Doc's lab. Doc must have built that in, in case this panel failed. So we can override the dome from the lab. And Vigil knows it. Everyone, Vigil is heading for the lab. If he gets into Doc's central computer, he'll control the dome. And the whole island. Frankie. Ow! 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 Now what did I do wrong? It's not you! Ow! It's him! My rotor! I'm losing control! Don't worry, I've got it. Ow! Don't oversteer! You're not mixing cake batter! Skyhawk is going down! Vigil gets me so bent out of shape. Hello, Francine. <gasps> Vigil's headed west inside a motorcycle, and we're grounded. Boulder and I are cutting through Sloan Field. We'll head him off. We're close too. Blades, Frankie, get to the lab on foot. We'll meet everybody there. Into the scrapyard. Ha! Now we got him. He's got to be here somewhere. More likely, in something. Whoa! Ah! Found him. You think? Cody, it's up to you guys. We're stuck at the scrapyard. Got it. We're almost to the lab. Frankie. Yeah. Uh... Blades is running as fast as he can, but he's a little out of shape. You try carrying me for a while. <sighs> Did we beat him here? Please say yes. It would appear so. I suggest a bot blockade. Frankie, is the place locked up? I'll make sure. Dither? Yes? Seal all entrances to the lab. Step aside, please. You will have to go through us. Yeah. Go through what? I cannot allow you to jeopardize the safety of Griffin Rock. But what kind of town is it if everyone is asleep? A vigilant town. All entrances secure. No dither. Stay back. He zapped into dither. Don't let him get to the computer terminal. Just me, or are these foam cannons everywhere? I'm afraid uh, we are incapacitated. Once in control of this central computer, I can keep Griffin Rock safe under the dome forever. Frankie the Rocket, time for some goaltending? Hold your breath! <gasps> Fly with fleet feet, Cody! It's up to you now. <sighs> go, Frankie, go! Remember, don't oversteer! <sighs> Rejected! So long, Vigil. See you in the EMP zone. Error. 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 The EMP sector, the dead zone for tech. A sound strategy. But the humans are still asleep. Kind of peaceful, isn't it? 
But I do miss everyone. Dither. Yes. Retract the dome. Secret password, duck. duck. Five more minutes, Mama. Why not? He deserves a good rest. Ooh, toast. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Shh. 